Hi everyone, I'm Ravinder Pathera, faculty at MadeEasy. I have some serious advices or I would say good advices for all of you, those who are going to join IITs, ISC and good NITs for their masters, be it MTech or MSR. Trust me, students, these advices will be really very helpful for you and you, gonna, you can thank me later. Trust me, you're going to thank me later. And those who are already there in the, you know, good institutions during their, you know, doing their masters, they can uh, comment below in the video and they can confirm it that, you know, how good these advices are. So, the, uh, you know, just only four advices. And out of these four advices, these are the four advices. Don't worry about these ones because they will be about a psychological. So, don't you don't have to put in any extra effort so as to understand this. So, the, the first one is, you know, really important and that's why I have made this video because now, you know, those who have got the offers through COAP and those who are anticipating to get good IITs for their masters and all and good NITs as well. So, you will be joining uh, generally IITs in the third weekend of uh, July and in and it is, I guess, the starting of August. So, more or less, you have around 45, 50 days left. So, what will, what would you be doing in these days? You won't be doing anything, you know, uh, very substantial. So, you can really utilize this time so as you can thrive there during your masters and you can, you know, at least you can relax. Things won't be so much overwhelming for you if you can utilize this time of around 45, 50 days. Okay. So, the first advice that I would have for you is, uh, Technical skills to start with. Trust me, man. You know, first you need to have a laptop. Second is like, okay, nah, that's not the technical skill. The technical skills are about to come. Uh, that what you need to focus upon at this point in time. But at least you need to have a laptop. You need to know about, you know, small, small things. How to manage a laptop and, okay, so how to download something, how to run it and all. And technical skill that I'm talking about is about coding, man. You, you need to learn it now, no matter what department you are entering into, uh, no matter what, you know, whether it is mechanical or uh, electrical or civil or oh, for that matter, electronics. Coding is required because we are going to let the computers do the task for us, okay? not We are not going to do anything. So, technical skill, if you ask me about Python, first Python and the second is MATLAB. So, for the MATLAB, I would start initially. For the MATLAB, at least download the MATLAB and, you know, you need to have a good RAM of your uh, laptop for that uh, MATLAB to run smoothly. So, make sure you have a good RAM in your laptop and uh, at least, no, if not much, at least, you know, have a familiarity with its interface, okay? How to, you know, upload a Excel file into it, how to read it and, you know, basic, basic things, okay? If not much, at least, as, as you know, at least you need to know about how to do basic algebraic linear algebra operations in it, R like writing a matrix, you know, multiplying two matrices and adding matrices into each other. At least up to this much, you need to, you know, know into uh, MATLAB. Okay, if more, if you want to get into it, you may. Uh, uh, upload a file into Excel file of a great data, you know, big data, not great data, big data into uh, the MATLAB and then you can, you know, extract in between of it. Let's say you have a 2 lakhs rows and you and, and, and uh, let's say you have a uh, 1000 columns and you want to extract a typically, let's say in a 1000 uh, rows, you want to extract a, a data from 101 row to one. 30th row and from this column to this column. So, you, how can you extract that data? How can you again, you know, at least if you can learn it, it would be great for you. It would be useful. Now, next comes to, yeah, this won't take time and everything is on, you know, on online YouTube available, you know, for MATLAB, you may go for that, uh, some generative AI models as well, they'll help you out how to write it at all, okay. You may copy the codes, then you can, you know, paste there, then you can uh, comprehend it, what, what, you know, about the complete code slowly, slowly. So, that's what you need to do. At least, if not about data extraction, data processing, at least you need to learn to do the basic linear algebraic operations in the MATLAB. The second is Python. Man, today, Python is very much necessary to do all the tasks in any kind of engineering. Yeah, for computer science, they do get into C++, Java and other, you know, uh, things as well in the computer, you know. Let's not get into that because they already know it. But for other, you know, engineering branches, core engineering branches, learn Python, 
you know there the pl plethora of uh, content is available on youtube and if you have a right shraddha then you know right shraddha is you know you know it that i'm giving a hint that from where you can uh, learn the basics of python okay so man started doing it maybe on visual studio or if you are not very uh, pro into it then you can have everybody have the google uh, account so simply go there write in the new tab collab research and uh, 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 that collab research page will be there there you can code in python so at least just finish it finish it fast okay there are i don't know how many lectures are basics of the python but please learn it please learn it and you can keep on thanking me then later on the next you know uh, this is what you need to do in the rest of the time that is before you join the uh, institutions so that's it academic culture i'm just making you aware so that you don't get frustrated you don't don't get depressed and you don't have you know unnecessary expectations so the first is academic culture and teaching style trust me man this is my advice don't expect faculties to teach like coaching institutions no don't just expect if you find somebody like that just be grateful i'm not saying that they you know they are not good at knowledge or something but they don't have the intention of those you know making things so much intuitive so that they are interesting and you know classes are amazing because they have lot other works to do to they, they have investment in of their time into uh, research publication and the projects and all so at times they may come and even in one hour lecture you won't understand anything or maybe just the name of the you know lecture or they you'll get to know that i have to study this so there always you need to follow the uh, self learning okay that's this is the key self learning lot of self -learn learning of yours would be happening there okay so you have multiple generative ai models nowadays and uh, in iits you have some uh, generative ai models uh, good models of them uh, theirs is free also so if once you have that uh, iit mail id so you can enjoy it there so uh, you'll have some tools to help you out and your peers are also there you can take help from them then so just don't expect their teaching like that so don't get frustrated okay you'll have to do almost everything on your own okay sometimes you have to you know you have to go through uh, for a topic before the class itself and you certainly will have to study it after the class on your own uh, how to score well in exams so i would say mid sem is the key in the mid sem and end sem though two exams are there in mid sem you'll get to know for a particular course how to score well uh, the different different kind of you know uh, 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 personality of the faculties is there you'll get to know i'm just giving you some instances that uh, you may have a faculty who is uh, teaching and uh, giving questions only from the notes so you need to stick with the notes you can get to know about this through the seniors as well okay before the mid sem also you can get to know but yes you'll have the clarity after mid sem the second you may have faculties who are teaching something and will ask you completely different there there will be teaching uh, teachers who will be teaching simple and will be asking very tough there will be uh, the vice versa of it will also be there but it's about the question it's not about the how uh, the marking will be done so sometimes teachers do give very tough paper but they uh, the line uh, the marking is also lenient okay once whatever you have attempted they'll give you marks so just figure it out maybe through seniors before the mid sem itself or in mid sem it will be clear to you so slowly slowly through the uh, you know uh, about the interaction with the your peers you'll get to know how to score well but make sure you take serious uh, you you need to take these quiz and assignments very serious okay so just uh, keep it in your mind your schedule for the next two years first of all you won't get any free time just don't think that you're going to enjoy campus or anything don't plan it this way then you'll be frustrated because if you have different things in mind if you are thinking that it will be a school like some movies like student of the year you'll enter there is a fresher party nothing of that sort will be there the first you'll join first four five months first semester is over suddenly within no time december will come up in december you'll have to decide your project you know in uh, what particular area you want to work in so that you can decide the courses of the second semester in that time itself you will take this much of time you'll go home once and you'll come back and then it's over the january the next semester starts it will end in may starting so you won't have much time then you're going to go again back home and you're going to come back and then you're going to start for preparing for the uh, you you'll start preparing your profile for the placement december you know comes and then you'll get placed then you may have some free time it won't be free but it mentally you'll be free you you can enjoy the time 
so that's how it is yeah if in, in between if you get some time maybe some days free maybe some evening is free some uh, afternoon is free you can have fun with your friends make friends and that's how it is learn as much and uh, you can and utilize all the facilities of the beat peers beat library beat campus you know amazing just utilize the infrastructure that you have labs the professors and utilize whatever you can utilize in there that's what i would advise to you and do it sincerely trust me lot many gates will be open i know that in india masters is not regarded as it is regarded in west the reason is not that the, there is problem with the degree it is just that we are not doing much of research work but as india is dreaming to be developed country the only way forward is going through the research and development and trust me in research and development masters is even the inferior degree people you know if you let's say if you want to target google's deep mind phd is also inferior degree people they they prefer post doc students phd students so if you want to target uh, open ai ai research or uh, meta's ai research lab or uh, for that matter uh, boston dynamics or any other lab so they are asking for phd post docs not only for masters okay so if india is dreaming to be a developed country they need to invest into not invest they need to start doing the research that's the only way out that's the only way out and trust me then it will be of great use and what i can anticipate is there is as, with the dawn of era of this uh, uh, ai models there is no use of mediocrity here because mediocrity level of knowledge is with the generative ai models is already there you don't require you don't require uh, human beings for that so down the line there will be use of expertise only this is what i am anticipating this is what i'm anticipating okay so i guess you are in a good direction go for it that's it from my side thank you bye bye